Out comes form correction. So you've data grabbed, data grabbed, data grabbed for uh, the observation or the 3D PT, let's say. So you now have all this information, but now how do you go and interpret that? So you interpret it and think, all right, this is what we're going to do. And then how do you then go and display that to your client? Or how do you communicate that then to the client? Because just because you know the information, it's like, oh, hips are going to the right or that bar's coming forward on your right side. So uh, we're going to remove the posterior pelvic tilt. We're going to uh, rotate, use your obliques on the left side to rotate you back and keep that lat switched on. Basically, you don't want to overcomplicate it just for the sake of sounding smart, right? So you can be smart and interpret that sort of observation and then the communication side of things is another, another thing. So being able to, this is what's really going to separate you from another PT. One, first grabbing that data, not just accepting that everything's perfect just because you're progressing or moving well. Uh, two, being able to provide the right cue or give the right approach to your client to make that lift more efficient. It's easy to do with, say, a squat, for example, because it's such a big movement, but even all the way to the small things, like, say, a dumbbell row or a bicep curl with someone that's slightly swinging or the elbows coming back to sort of reduce that range of motion. There's a lot of different things you can think about. Obviously, it's going to have a bigger, deeper impact on the bigger compound lifts, but, yeah, form critique. Learning what cue works with what person, learning how different leverages work for different people. Uh, over time learning what cue is good and what cue is not so good for the particular client. Maybe complex cues don't work, uh, or maybe they really like that. Maybe they really like the, the big breakdown of why they've implemented a certain cue. Uh, so form critique, it's not just about knowing what to implement. It's also about strong communication across to that client and learning the different biomechanics around different clients. Someone's got long femurs, someone's got short femurs, they probably need to have it addressed differently. Uh, bar path issues, why it's happening, how to fix it, and also how to communicate it across to the client to make sure that they're implementing it uh, in the best way possible. Like I said, some people want to know it all. Some people just want it simple. Uh, find out what works for the client, be adaptive, and also know that not everyone's the same. So a cue to one person, isn't necessarily going to work the same way to another person. So build up that arsenal, build up a whole bunch of different cues, uh, techniques, ways of communicating across to a client and basically successfully use the data that you've obtained from that 3D PT and make or help your client lift more efficiently to progress long term. Provide a high amount of value, separate yourself from the other PTs.